So we got this nice flathead catfish here. Been iced down for a day getting ready to clean it. And we all know nobody likes to embellish stories and over overestimate the size of fish more than a fisherman. So we're going to weigh this one. So I'm going to guess about five pounds. So I don't know if y'all can see that, 11.15. 11.13 so we'll go with 11 pounds on this one all right so we got this 11 pound flathead catfish opelousas just caught yesterday evening ice down good getting ready to clean it so i'll do the same thing i did with those other fish earlier boy he's gonna be real slippery get my hand inside of his mouth and i'll come up here on the head and just Go in and try to cut straight back down the middle. Kind of missed a little. I get to this top fin, cut around the bone that's under it. And you can feel it from, so like right there. Cut all the way around that bone on this whole fin. I'll just come rip it straight up down the center. All right, so once we get that done, we'll fillet off one side. Just like any other fish, just start filleting down toward the ribs. Feel it running across some ribs, you know you're doing good. Try to feel where the bones are over here and cut through the skin. Figure out where the top of the ribs are. Cut across it all the way down to the bottom. Cut in toward the head, get all this meat up in here, I can. All right. So just like any other fish, follow the ribs. Follow the spine, I should say. A lot of meat on these big catfish. A lot of thick skin too. There we go. I'm going to be cooking a cuvion with these fillets. Traditionally a good catfish cuvion is using his head on these on these big flatheads. So you can see I got that whole fillet off. Look how thick it is up in this section. So we're going to go ahead and skin it. Just like I do on a big redfish, I'll stay about a sixteenth of an inch off the skin. Leave the red meat as much as possible on the skin. I 
and see how the fat stays right on the skin also. If there's any extra on the filet, we'll clean it off. Like this little bit of fat right in here. I want to get that out. And this little bit of red meat, we'll clean this all up before we do a final cooking. But you can look at the size of that filet. It's almost two inches thick in the center here. Probably a good 17, 18 inches long. Beautiful filet. Let's see if we can get the other side done as easily. Feel around in there where them bones are. You can kind of see where the top of the ribs are right here. We'll go ahead and cut the skin while we got it laying out like this. Just cut that skin all the way back. And we want to start filleting. Off the spine. So on this one we'll be able to come from this angle. to the tail now we can get the knife in there better get the knife up in there easy now you can hear it cutting right down the ribs now that we're this far we just come from the center of the vertebrae down keep your knife clean Trying to get all this meat up toward the head. You can see we're on top of the ribs now. Should be getting to that cut. There we go. Cut all that belly out in a second. I had to make room to fillet. So you want to hold her down. Like I said, stay a hair off the skin. Try to leave some of that red meat on it. Here's the fat by the fins we'll cut. So left a little skin up toward the top there. Left a little skin up here, I'm gonna cut it off. Big beautiful thick fillet. That's probably a couple pound filet right there cut some of this red meat out before I freeze it so just like the other one we got about a two inch thick filet couple pounds of meat So like I said, I'm a cook a cubion, so you can see on this 11 pound fish, there's probably a couple pounds of meat right here from the collar back. So we want to get all this meat we can.
Cut all the way up into the collar. Around both those fins. Ooh, look at the size of that meat. All right, over here we want to go right underneath this rib from the inside out and get all that meat off the bottom all the way to the back. You can see I missed a little bit. We don't want to cut into them entrails if we can avoid it. A little bit of belly liner holding on there. Do the same thing on this side. Try to come from the inside of them ribs. So you can see, look at these slabs here. Cut down and try to get to where I can get in here to fillet this off the skin. So just like skinning a fillet, same thing here. I'll try to cut some of that membrane off just doing the same thing from the bottom. Try to fillet as much of that membrane off as I can get. You can see I missed a little skin there. We'll get that. So you can see that chunk of meat there, that's probably a good pound of meat. Especially for making a cubion. Do the same thing from this side. Hmm, well that's beautiful right there. Try to get a little bit of that membrane off the inside of this piece. So once again, at least a pound or more. About an inch thick fillet. Not a lot of fat on it. That's going to be a nice piece. So like I was saying, a real cubion, you cook this head and everything try to get all the meat and flavor and there's a lot of pieces of meat all in these heads I usually don't do it though I just cook a uh, Cubion using fillets but I just want to see how big of a cheek piece is on this one Like, uh, I'm missing some. Like all my offshore buddies getting the grouper cheeks. About a catfish cheek. Pretty sizable piece of meat. So you could see where you could really get some meats and flavors out of these heads. Same thing on this side.
not finding that pocket like I did on the other one. Not too good at recovering that the cheek meat. Started off with an 11.1 fish. <coughs> and after filleting it we end up with 4.96 right at 5 pounds. So 11 pound fish should render about 6 pounds of meat. Not too bad.